The knight, Max, wore his wolf suit and made mischief. Of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's rooms, a forest grew and grew and grew until the ceiling hung with vines. And the walls became the world all around in an ocean tumbled by with a private boat. And he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars. Roar! And gnashed their terrible teeth. And rolled their terrible eyes. And showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, Be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the, the most wild thing of all. all. It made him king of all wild things. Now, let the wild rumpus start. And Max, the king of all wild things, said, I'm lonely. And wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he said, I'll give up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please, don't, don't go. go. We'll, we'll eat you up. up. We, we love, love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars. Roar! And gnashed their terrible teeth. And rolled their terrible eyes. And showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat waved goodbye, and sailed back. Almost over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day, and into the night of my own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Halitosis was a very good dog, but she had a big problem. Halitosis had horrible breath. Whenever Hallie Tosis opened her mouth, horrible things happened. Whenever Hallie Tosis went for a walk, everyone else walked on the other side of the street. Even skunks avoided Hallie Tosis. But the real trouble started one day when Grandma Tosis stopped by for a cup of tea and Hallie jumped up to say hello. Mom and Dad were not amused. They said, something has to be done about that smelly dog. The next day, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis decided to find a new home for Hallie. We knew that the only way we could save our dog was to get rid of her bad breath. So they took Hallie Tosis to the top of a mountain that had a breathtaking view. We hoped that the breathtaking view would take Hallie's breath away, but it didn't. Next, the children took Halitosis to a very exciting movie. We hoped that all the excitement would leave Howley breathless, but it didn't. Finally, the children took Halitosis to a carnival. We hoped that Hallie would lose her breath on the speedy roller coaster, but that idea stunk too. The plans to change Hallie's bad breath had failed. We knew only a miracle could save Halitosis. Sadly, the three children said goodnight, unaware that a miracle was just on the horizon.
Later that night, when everyone was sound asleep, two sneaky burglars crept into our house. The two burglars were tiptoeing through the dark, quiet rooms when suddenly they came upon halitosis. Guys, it's a big, skinny, scary dog. Ah, oh, don't be silly. That's only a cute little fuzzy puppy. The two burglars giggled at the sight of such a friendly little dog. That dog wouldn't hurt a fly. Go meow, poochie, poochie. So Halitosis came over and gave the burglars a nice big kiss. Slurp. The next morning, the Tosis family awoke to find two burglars passed out cold on the living room floor. It was a miracle. We family got a big reward for turning in the crooks and soon Howie Tosis was the most famous crime fighting dog in the country. In the end, Mr. and Mrs. Tosis changed their minds about finding a new home for Hallie. They decided we could keep our wonderful watchdog after all because life without Holly Tosis just wouldn't make any sense.